Hello world, I'm Chico, the host of Chico's Table. This is the table. Today, you will be making a filet of fish sandwich. Uh, if you're not familiar, there's some at McDonald's. You know, people, people seem to love them. I love them, I grew up on them. Um, but we're not, we're not gonna be making, you know, just traditional filet of fish. In fact, um, we're, we're gonna be making something a little extra, hopefully, especially considering that, you know, we're in a recession right now. And like, more timely than ever to cook at home, even though, you know, McDonald's is pretty fucking cheap already. Either way, we're gonna head to McDonald's first. Uh, we are going to, you know, sample one, show you what it's all about, and then we're gonna come back and make our own. Let's go. We've arrived. The Golden Arches. Welcome to McDonald's. We Hello, how can I help you? Hi. Can I get uh one fillet of fish? One fish? Actually, else? actually make that two fillet of fish. Two. All right, so today we are going to be making a flip. Oh, let's not look at that one. That one doesn't look great. Oh, this one's not even better either. Okay, so bear with me. This shit looks pretty terrible, but you know, I'm gonna show it to you as is from McDonald's. Pretty great. So before we make our own, uh, we're gonna eat this thing first because you know, it's kind of obligatory. Also, I haven't eaten all day. Buzzing. So fun fact about the fish fillet. It was created back, I think in the 60s, because burger sales were like super slow. During Good Friday, which was actually this past Friday. Um, so yeah. It was, a, it was an alternative to me for, for Christian fasters. So taking a look at the anatomy of this thing, we've just got your standard bun, some like fake American cheese, and your standard tartar sauce that whoever made this, you know, was really accurate in, in, in placement. <laughs> Looks flight, right? The objective today is to recreate this, but also, you know, maybe add some extra stuff to it. I mean, we are in a recession. Step number two, our tartar sauce. We are going to be combining all our tartar sauce materials. We got our kubi mayo, our quarter yellow onion, our dill relish, our capers, our fresh dill, sugar, salt, and sherry vinegar. And all we're gonna do is combine them all. So we're gonna start with the onion. up you're gonna want to chop up your dill and then lastly your dill So 
all we're gonna need to do to combine all of this stuff is mix it all. So let's do that. What you're gonna need is a spoon. We have plenty of spoons. So here we are with our Koopi Mayo as the base in this uh, container that you can easily refrigerate right after, which we're gonna do. So we're gonna start with our, our yellow onion. Incorporated, followed by our dill. Followed by our capers. Fresh dill. You don't need to make, you know, this much sauce, but yeah, you know, if after making this, you're gonna know how much you're gonna want to use. And I can easily go through all of this pretty, pretty quickly. Sugar, salt, lastly the cherry vinegar. I'm gonna have to slowly incorporate this because already pretty wet. Awesome. All right, now we've got tartar sauce. It's really important to taste your food as you go, just because you don't want to get to the end and fucking, you know, have it, have it just suck because you never tasted anything along the way. Just a tip, you don't have to do it, you know, it's up to you, it's your life. Anyway. And whether it's up to your liking, if you, you know, want it more sour, add more dill relish, if you want to add more salt, add more sugar, want it sweeter, it's really up to you. This is just my preference. But what you want to do after this is you're going to want to throw a lid on it, um, throw it in the refrigerator, let it cool while we do the rest on a step three. Oh, hi. Enter the standard breading method. So we got our cod from the fridge. Uh, it's been chilled for a minute. Uh, we, what we want is to, you know, get the fish to like harden up a bit so that, you know, is it isn't it isn't flopping all over the place so we have our cod fillets we've got our flour our eggs and our bread what we're gonna do with the eggs is make an egg wash and then we'll go through the process of making our uh, fish fillet we're gonna want to crack our eggs into this shallow dish You don't want to make sure that all the yolks are completely broken. And if you want to season your uh, breading mix, I'd suggest that you, you know, add your seasonings into here if you want, whether or not you want to add salt or pepper or whatever. I kind of stay off the salt, so like, not off the salt, but like, 
there's enough salt in here that, you know, at the end, especially including the sauce, like, I just don't want a fucking, you know, an incredibly salty mess. But if you are gonna throw seasoning in, I would, I would suggest that you leave it at the last step with the breading, just because, you know, if you add it onto the fish or into the flour, it's all just gonna start to compound and you're gonna get, you know, a really salty filet at the end. Just a tip, it's up to you. If you don't got high blood pressure, it's all good. <laughs> all right, onto the breading. I'm gonna want to get this nice into some flour, into the egg wash. And if you don't want to end up with bread and fingertips, I'd suggest that, you know, maybe you wear some gloves or something. Also, one more tip is if uh, your fish is like, before you dredged it was at room temp or like even warm, after the breading process, I'd suggest throwing them in the fridge for like 20 minutes for them to like, you know, not go frozen, but you know, stiffen up a bit before you throw them in the fryer. All right, step four, you've made it. It's time to fry the fish. Uh, we've got our canola oil here. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna pour in about probably close to like, probably say one and a half to two inches worth of oil, just enough for like the, the fish to fry in without like touching the bottom because we don't want the fish to burn. And, you know, we're gonna wanna set this to around 375. Just to account for the cold fish that's gonna drop this down at an ideal temp of 350, where we want it to fry. We're in New York, we're gonna wanna open up a window because, you know, we all know the hoods are bullshit. Looking good. All right, we're gonna let that rest. So that's what we're gonna want, that nice golden crust. Fire. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna toast the bun. Okay, to toast the bun, what we're gonna do is take some of this butter Two more bun. You're going to want to preheat your pan so that it's already hot. And what we're looking for is to get a ring around the entire perimeter of the bun. And then we'll know we're cooking. That's good. All 
right, so now on to assembly. American cheese, organic, whatever that means. Just like the filet of fish classic, we're gonna start with American cheese on the bun. We're gonna melt that with this torch. If you don't have a torch, you can use a microwave. You know, just give it a little, a little melting. Make sure it's warm. Next, we place the fish on top followed by the tartar. Some mulled and salt. And as promised, the extra thing we're throwing on this sandwich today, green tobiko. It's basically wasabi fish eggs. Beautiful. Topped with the bun. There we are. Filet of fish with green tobiko. All right, if you made it this far, um, you know, I just want to say thank you for tuning in to my first video here on Nothing Matters TV. This is Chico's Table. Hope to see you again. Hope to, hopefully we make some more good content moving forward. You know, this is a work in progress, to be honest, and we'll see where it goes. Because, uh, you know, it's kind of rough out there. I feel you guys. And I got nothing else to do with my time. So this, is, this, this could possibly be it for me. Let's make it happen, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and uh, please, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the only way this channel's gonna, you know, keep going, hopefully. Um, I don't know what that's worth now, but hopefully in the future, this will be the documentation to see what this has become. Thanks, bye. It's a wrap, cut. Turn the cameras off, turn the cameras off. It's really just being here. Thank you.